Play name that tune. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Indeed, alleluia, sing to Jesus as we gather together this day to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Let us come together as his people to acknowledge the Lord as our God. For those times when we have turned away from his love, we ask for his mercy and forgiveness. 
I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness. That for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, O come to the water, all you who are thirsty, though you have no money, come. Buy corn without money, and eat, and at no cost, wine and milk. Why spend money on what is not bread, your wages on what fails to satisfy? Listen, listen to me, and you will have good things to eat and rich food to enjoy. Pay attention, come to me, listen, and your soul will live. With you, I will make an everlasting covenant out of the favours promised to David. The word of the Lord. You open wide your hand, O Lord, you grant our desires. You open wide your hand, O Lord, you grant our desires. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. You open wide your hand, O Lord, you grant our desires. The eyes of all creatures look to you, and you give them their food in due time. You open wide your hand, grant the desires of all who live. You open wide your hand, O Lord, you grant our desires. The Lord is just in all his ways and loving in all his deeds. He is close to all who call him, who call on him from their hearts. You open wide your hand, O Lord, you grant our desires. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessings on the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heavens. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus received the news of John the Baptist's death, he withdrew by boat to a lonely place where they could be by themselves. But the people heard of this and leaving the towns, went after him on foot. So as he stepped ashore, he saw a large crowd and he took pity on them and healed their sick. When evening came, the disciples went to him and said, this is a lonely place and the time has slipped by. So send people away, and they can go to the villages to buy themselves some food. Jesus replied, There is no need for them to go. Give them something to eat yourselves. But they answered, All we have with us is five loaves and two fish. Bring them here to me, he said. He gave orders that the people were to sit down on the grass. 
Then he took the five loaves and the two fish, raised his eyes to heaven and said the blessing. And breaking the loaves, he handed them to his disciples, who gave them to the crowds. They all ate as much as they wanted, and they collected the scraps remaining, twelve baskets full. Those who ate numbered about five thousand men, to say nothing of women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. Earlier on this week, I went out to a lovely riverside pub with some friends of mine for an evening meal. It's the first time I'd really been out uh, since lockdown, so it was nice for a change. Whilst I was there, the landlord came up to me. I know the landlord. Uh, oh, thank you, Sinead. Always forget that. It's for those watching on YouTube. We are live streaming now, by the way, so, but don't worry, they can only see the back of your heads in the first two front rows. And me, of course. <laughs> anyway, where was I? You were just finishing, Father. Um, sorry, that's another, that's, a, that's, a, that's another story. Anyway, um, yeah, and the landlord came up to me, and I know the landlord, funnily enough, he's a, he's a lapsed Catholic, nice fella. Um, and he said to me, Father Tom, I need your help. I said, I said, what do you need my help for? He said, we've run out of fish. <laughs> and I knew exactly what he meant. He was referring to the miracle of the loaves and the fishes. And often when people say such things to me, I always tell them that I was actually away the afternoon at college when they taught us how to do that. So um, it is a remarkable story. We do hear it quite a lot uh, in our church's year. And it's recorded three or four times in the Gospels. The Gospel of Mark has two narratives, that, uh, I think, uh, the, the feeding of the four and the five thousand. And then Matthew's account that we have listened to this morning, where he says that Jesus fed over five thousand people, to say nothing of women and children. That phrase always amuses me as well. Um, so if you were to count the women and children, wives, um, mother-in-laws, mothers, um, young ladies and spouses and children, probably nine or ten thousand easily. So it was an amazing feat and a, a recognition and I think it shows to us that God doesn't only wish for the nourishment of our souls, he also wishes for the nourishment of our bodies. It also prefigures the Eucharistic banquet that Jesus would give on the night before he died at the Last Supper, where he gave the great gift of his body and blood to the whole church to be celebrated throughout the centuries and throughout the millennia. And also, as we gather here this day, we recognise that we are fed by the word of God, but also fed by his body and blood. Now, we know that we have just come out of uh, lockdown and we know that for many weeks and many months we were fasting from the Eucharist apart from people like myself who were privileged enough to celebrate the Eucharist during that time. It's also a reminder to us that we do need that nourishment from God, the nourishment of our hearts, the nourishment of our souls and also let us remember those who are still absent from our churches, maybe those who are still shielding, or those maybe who are still fearful of coming out and coming back. And when we make the act of spiritual communion after we have received, we keep them very much in our hearts and our minds at this time. We stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, 
Born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Let us turn to our Heavenly Father with our petitions this day. For all the members of the Church, that we may grow in appreciation of God's kind and generous kindness and reflect this in our daily lives. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. For all who suffer mentally, physically, or spiritually, that they may receive the heavenly food that will sustain them. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. For all those who, like John the Baptist, are facing violence and persecution, that the Holy Spirit will comfort them. Lord, in your mercy. We bring before God those who have died, those whose anniversaries occur at this time, and those who mourn. Lord, in your mercy. For the parishes of St. Dunstan, Sumpton, St. Joseph, Lamport, and Holy Ghost, Yoke with South Pelton, and our own parish. We may busy ourselves not only with the immediate needs of ourselves and our families, but keep hungering for the higher goods of God's Word and for the Eucharist. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We ask Mary, Mother of Hope, to pray with us and for us as we say, Hail Mary, Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. In the silence of our hearts, we turn to our Father with our personal attention. Heavenly Father, let no trial or worry separate us from your love, which has come to us through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. True, graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being, and while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, and in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Declan, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Peter Gilroy, for whom we offer this Mass and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
for those who are unable to join us this day at Mass, an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament at the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since many cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as if you were there already, and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. As I mentioned earlier on at Mass, we are now live streaming uh, with Churches TV. Um, if you wish to access it, um, if you go to the parish website, thanks Nick for uh, putting it up uh, on the website, or just go direct to churchestv.com. You can also get an app for your phone uh, or your tablet, um, Android or iPhone, um, either way. Um, it's also on throughout the day, so if you feel the need to look at St. John's without me, then you'll be very welcome to do so. Just this nice picture of the, the sanctuary area. Um, and also, we will be continuing to um, do the YouTube whilst we uh, wait for better broadband, uh, because I think it's sticking a little bit and buffering uh, at the moment. Have a nice day and week ahead, everyone. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Frank. Yes, very important. After lockdown, great excitement in the parish of St. John's, there is the, the new draw of the 300 Club in the car park. <laughs> any refreshment, any, any sweets or anything? No comment. No, no comment, says Frank. Right. What's all in London? There we are. So if you're not a member of the 300 Club, um, it's very easy to join. Um, please speak to me or email me or, or Frank Geherty. Um, it's very easy. It raises a lot of money for the parish, um, and especially at the moment with all the extra uh, PPE stuff um, that we're all having to use at this time. I've done everything else, haven't I? Just the music now. <laughs> Play on.